God, that's really spicy. That was such a hard workout. Uh, Heather Robertson, she has like some of the best workouts, but they're very challenging. And sometimes I'm really scared to do them because I know how, how hard it is and how challenging it is. But I always feel so good after. This is Pavoy Active, this whole set in this beautiful green color and this is my first time working out on it out in it and it's actually pretty good material like the leggings didn't droop or they didn't fall off which i think is really annoying when i'm working out is like if leggings like move around but these are actually really good it has good grip it also has pockets on the side and this top fits perfectly and i'm also wearing their earrings as well um because i like to have like a little accessory like while i'm working out and it doesn't really get in the way so this is the workout fit of the day um i love it they are very affordable and it's actually really good material and they are also known for having really awesome earrings and really good material too so i've purchased a lot of pavoy jewelry already I one of the longest morning meetings ever very very long and i had to pee so bad but we made it and now my tummy is rumbling. It's time for a protein smoothie to refill my body after that workout. So I have some raspberries that are gonna go bad and some frozen bananas. So I think I'm gonna do like a raspberry chocolate protein shake. And I'm gonna use In Bloom's vegan plant-based protein in the flavor cocoa bean. Cocoa bean sounds so good. Raspberries are so expensive. All right, a scoop of that. This smoothie is so good. I am actually surprised. Also, I gotta do some laundry because today is laundry day, so I'm gonna get started on that. p.m. I am in the mood to bake and I have these two ripe bananas that I need to use before it goes bad so I'm gonna make banana oat protein muffins mashed bananas and then two cups of oat and maple syrup oh well I feel like I really enjoy baking now because there's a lot of baked goods and a lot of things out there that either is not good for me or will hurt me in my stomach and sometimes I get sad because it's not as convenient for me to like go out and get a croissant or get out go out and get a muffin because there's usually like dairy in it or something that will hurt my stomach or even make me feel like lethargic or not as good and it's not as good for my body so I've really been loving baking because I can control the ingredients that goes inside of it so I know exactly like what's going into my body mm. this is gonna taste so good with like a hojicha latte and you like dip it inside Actually, I should cool it. Okay, I just came back from H Mart. I wish I had more time, but since I was on my lunch, I didn't have too much time. And I was honestly overwhelmed with all of the options that they had. And 
I could spend hours in the grocery store, but I have to go another day when I have more time. But <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get some essentials and some vegetables and something, you know, that we can actually eat for meals. But I did the opposite of that because I had decision paralysis with just all the options. I just didn't know what to get. But I did get Korean pop cereal snack. It kind of reminds me, I remember when I went to H Mart in college, they had Bibble from Victorious, no, Cat and Sam and Cat, the Nickelodeon show where she ate Bibble and she like loved it so much. I forgot what show that is, but that kind of reminds me of it. And then I wanted to try the Bulldog two times spicy ramen and I want to see if I can handle it. I love spice, but I remember I tried it also in college and I could not handle it. But it, I remember it tasting good, so I kind of want to try this again. So I got one for me and Justice to try. And then this I'm the most excited about because I was just strolling around the jam section and I found this sugar-free sweet potato preserve. But I think it's kind of like um, the ube texture consistency or, you know, they may use this or whatever something similar to make like ube matcha lattes but i think i'm gonna make a sweet potato matcha latte with this because um that looks delicious and all the ingredients are in here is just sweet potato and rice syrup so i'm actually really excited to try this my matcha so i will be trying that soon but now i gotta go back to work but i'm gonna try the the popcorn because it sounds really good I have a very exciting package that came in the mail. I literally shrieked when I saw it because um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned but before I worked with Drink Wild Wonder to launch their newest flavor raspberry lychee and I created like the raspberry lychee matcha drink and they sent another box of this and I love the hashtag, it's, it's break up with soda, like that's their whole campaign revolving around this is to break up and ditch the soda because soda is not good for our bodies, it tastes good but I don't think we should be drinking it every single day so their whole thing is to break up with soda and I saw everybody getting these really cute PR packages and I was like Wait, shoot, do I not get one? But I think this is it, I'm really excited. It is it, I think. It's so cute. So this is their new flavor, it is raspberry lychee and I've already tasted it, I love it, it's probably my favorite flavor. Oh and then we have these super cute stickers. I already saw like what's in the contents of the box, Oh, but super cute, of course we have the drink. And then this is what I was so excited about because I saw that they gave a camera inside? Stop, this is so cute! Oh my gosh. This is so cute! I'm gonna take a picture. It is very late but I had such a busy Wednesday. Like I have been go, go, go since this morning. Hold on, sorry, okay. I have been go, go, go since this morning with just back-to-back -back meetings. And I had a really good session with my counselor. I just had a really good talk. I haven't talked to her in a while. So it was just really nice to talk about things, talk about what's been going on and just hear a lot of wisdom from her. So that was in the middle of the day. That was really good. And then after that, I just went back to back, to back to back to back meetings. And I'm finally done for the day. It is 7.11 PM and I we picked up some food. I just got like some spicy ahi and some cold soba. And then I'm drinking my Wild Wonder. Of course, this is the best flavor. Oh my God. I'm so excited to use this. Get my hands on this for a while. It's been sold out in Sephora. Like, literally check it every single time I go in. And I got it in a bag. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? That comes out on top so you're not wasting any. I have not been eating vegetables. Oh, it's the best. 
it's dessert time. Because I guess since it's like, even though it's like a pie, it's still like kind of giving cake. I will be asking this for my birthday, <laughs> a birthday pie. I love how the strawberry jam is so tart and it mixes so well with the cake batter ice cream and it, oh, it makes like this perfect creamy fruity ice cream layer and then you have the crust which is like super buttery and crispy. The moment I am most excited about. Does these also remind me of my childhood? Where I used to get ice cream sandwiches all the time, specifically mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches also from Baskin and Robbins, so. That is so good. I am in disbelief. This is like nostalgia with like a really delicious chocolatey cookie with chocolate chips in it and then the mint. Mm. I love that they play like cooking shows here, like with food. It's like one of my favorite things at the dentist. Good morning. I just went to the dentist. I had a dentist appointment at 8.40. So I just finished. So my teeth is good, which is awesome. Um, no cavities, but I do have slight staining and I asked him from what it was and he was like, probably the matcha. So. I gotta be careful of the staining, or I guess like how I drink it, but anyways, I am happy that I don't have any cavities. My teeth are clean, um, but I do kind of want a matcha, so. Hee <laughs> hee. Do you like the dentist? How do you guys feel about the dentist? I don't really like it, because sometimes it hurts me. Sometimes you'd be hurting a little. Oi. I'm in Don Quixote because I need groceries, so I'm getting eggs. I'm trying to find the vegetables, but I oh, found them. I need eggs, vegetables, because we don't have any, and I'm constantly like, we don't have food, so. Can we take a moment to just admire this beauty? Gorgeous. Oh, I just picked up my one of my favorite matches ever at Better Days. I have to do a video like I keep like visiting the places and I'm going to talk about it so badly. But anyways, this is one of my favorite matcha places because they have this coconut cloud whip on top and it mixes so well with the matcha. It's like one of my favorite and it's non-dairy. Like usually a lot of coffee shops have dairy like all up in it and you can't like use another option. But this one is dairy free and it is so delicious. Sorry dentist, I'm drinking matcha. <laughs> Anyways, okay, now I gotta go back home. We've got more packages. I'm super excited about this because this um, girl, she reached out to me that owns this company called Plate Pillows and she wanted to kindly send me one of her mugs for my matcha. So this is the avocado set, or av avocado color in the cereal mug collection. And then she also sent me um, this beautiful glass. I don't have one like this, the texture is so unique. So I am excited to make a matcha in here. But now this, I already took a peek at it and it's beautiful, but guys, This is so cute and it matches. It's the perfect matcha cup. It's like the matcha latte color. And I believe she makes these. Like this is a ceramic mug that she makes and it's so cute. I can't wait to make a matcha latte on this. Thank you, Plate Pillows. I will leave her Instagram and website below if you guys want to purchase anything from her, which I definitely think you should because these are so cute. And um 
One of my favorite skincare brands, I love their green tea toner. I use it every single day, twice a day actually. Um, and the brand is from Isen Tree. This is so cute. But they sent me something, I don't know what, but let's open it. If you can't tell, I really love Korean skincare. I think they, like all the Koreans that I see, they have beautiful skin. Like it's just glowing, it's so it's so glassy, it's soft, it's moisturized. So they have to be doing something right. So this is another Korean skincare brand called Isen Tree. And <gasps> onion. Onion New Pear Sunscreen, Ultra Low Molecular Hyaluronic Acid Serum, Onion New Pear Gel Cream. I'm really interested about the onion. I love eating onions. So I assume it's supposed to be good for your skin too. And then the Ultra Low Molecular Hyaluronic Acid Toner. <gasps> I'm so excited. Thank you, Ice and Tree. I will be testing these out ASAP. Happy Saturday. This is my outfit. This top is from Bershka. I don't know where these bottoms are. Jacket is from Nordstrom. And then I'm going to wear my Adidas green shoes. But I saw this outfit off of Pinterest and I wanted to kind of recreate it. Oh, and then also I'm wearing my Pavoy white gold earrings. But yeah, it's like a comfy, elevated look. I feel like the green shoes pulls it all together. And then, of course, my little TikTok shop bag that carries everything. Okay, we're in downtown to go to this matcha shop in this hotel. I don't know if it's in the hotel or it's... What does it look like? Yeah, it's like it's like... Down where? Oh. I don't know if it's outside or if it's here. It's called the Ace Hotel. Okay, we got a matcha latte with ube, sweetened with ube. Almost put in whole milk on accident. And then we got the ube chia pudding. Chia pudding. Okay, this looks really good. Oh, ishi. Wait, that's so good. I like the ube flavor. Mm. Matcha's pretty good too. Oh, yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Good. Yeah, the matcha is really good. It's very smooth. And I saw that they actually use like a really good ceremonial grade matcha or a matcha that's like milled. I forgot what it says, but. They use like actually good matcha. Playing the new Mario Party 8 or Mario, Super Mario, I don't know. We've been playing beach volleyball. Bulldog ramen. Let's try it. I'm scared. You can try some? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Sounds good. That's pretty spicy. <laughs> Eat a lot. Oh yeah, that's really spicy. It like immediately hits you. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty spicy. <laughs> that's sweet. 